Hello Pisces, how are you today? Hope everyone's doing well. We're going to get started with your love reading and see what the Romance Angels has for you. Let's see what messages are going to pop up for Romance Angels for Pisces in love. Okay, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I think they are for everybody, for most people in a way. So let's see what we have here. Oh, there we go. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, one more. Romance angel, please, spirit. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right, so let's see what we have here for our beautiful Pisces. Okay, Pisces in love. Spirit, please give us the energy that we need for Pisces in love. Pisces in love. Okay, so let's see. We have, oh, Pisces, look at this. In the recent past, the mutual energy has been coldness between the two of you, feeling as though you're blocked out of one another's lives. You could be in separation through no fault of your own. You could be at a distance. However, if you're in under the same roof, it looks as though there's some distance and some issues. The Ten of Wands, oh, packing up the burdens, letting go, releasing something that is not working. This could be a breakup. <laughs> uh, Nine of Wands says that your person still has fire in their belly for the relationship, but you have gone through some turmoil. Let's see how they view you, Pisces. I am going to do two card spreads. This is the overview of the relationship itself and the dynamic that I'm going to do past, present, and future. Okay, so they view you as a person who's working on something, who's learning something, who's exercising their skill levels, okay, that they see you as a person who's building something new in their life. Pisces, in their heart space, they love you. That is the Capricorn Queen. It's very nurturing energy. They view the situation as one in which you will enter a new cycle with them. We'll clarify everything. Let's see, what's the mutual energy that's hidden between the two of you? A new beginning. Beautiful. Okay, so there could be some financial issues. You may be discussing moving. So this could take a couple of different paths for different couples. It's a general reading. Look at this. Spirit is saying, talk, talk, talk. You need to rush forward and really express what's on your mind. Both of you need to be very blunt and very forthright. Don't beat around the bush, as they say. And Aquarius energy twice. So actually, you have Aquarius, 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 Capri well, Saturn energy. Um, but it looks as though the two of you have been through some financial loss, maybe a job loss, maybe some turmoil in that way. It looks as though this is happily ever after, dreams come true, you know, a new beginning, very open-minded. Your person thinks the world of you. Let's see what the, um, what the energy is here for the clarifiers. Why do we have the five of coins here for our beautiful Pisces? Ten of Wands, there was a burden that you were carrying that you're still carrying. Somebody may, may, may be working two jobs or a job and a side gig. You're staying very intellectual, very cool, calm, and collected Aquarius energy. This is a strategy. So it looks like the two of you are strategizing for the future. And yes, here we go. I think you may be moving. Both of you want to move to a place that isn't as expensive. It looks as though you want to do it fairly soon. Your person sees you as highly desirable, Pisces. They see you as just super, super attractive. Somebody that they just, that everybody wants to know your name. The Nine of Cups speaks to the fact that your person is missing the good times that you've had. Usually this means good times, eat, drink, and be merry. Your person looks as though they're ready to have that again with you. Libra Energy says that your relationship and your person are very balanced. They understand that this too shall pass. This energy is very, it's really gorgeous. It's, it speaks to a relationship that's aged a little bit. 
you know it really and if it's a new relationship it has great potential here the sun card look at you aquarius there's your beautiful counterpart leo energy both of you when you get to have a new beginning or you go on a new adventure with each other you love it Oh my gosh, the Sun card is, I think, one of the most important cards in the deck. It's all about making love, having fun, having children, doing creative things, uh, being out there, enjoying life, living in the moment. And the two of you have tremendous capacity for that. It does look like there's been some sort of disappointment or heartbreak uh, with a family member. The Ten of Cups. This can also mean that the relationship itself has suffered a setback. Spirit is saying that this is a very good relationship. That the Four of Swords means healing. Now that can be physical healing. But it does look as though the Ten of Cups normally upright would be, Spirit would say, enjoy the happiness of the love. It's just saying that the two of you need to deal with some issues. There are some pressing issues at hand. Things that are getting in the way of your happiness together. Something that was said or done needs to have a feeling or a, a healing aspect to it. Okay, so if somebody's been a little bit more selfish or a little bit out of balance, it looks as though the relationship is very powerful and very strong, but Spirit is saying address the, the wounds that you don't ne necessarily look at every day. Three of Wands, you are one another's future. The Three of Wands is my ships have come in, they're in the harbor, let's go get... Let's go get the goodies that you and I have built, what we've created. Let's cash in on the capital, you know, the, the investment that we've made in each other. It's just really great energy for the two of you. So now we're going to look at past, present, and future and see what we have here in terms of just timing of what's going on in the relationship. Let's see. And then we're also going to get advice from the oracles. So let's see here. Give this a couple of good shuffles. Pisces, I like the looks. The relationship looks like it's very, very strong. So let's go three, two cards here. So we'll go three. One, two, and three. Okay. So those are clarifiers, of course, and then we'll go one more shuffle here, and we'll look at past, present, and future in this relationship. Okay, so Pisces, lots of love, beautiful in the past. Cancerian love, very sincere, very watery, very tender, very beautiful, very vulnerable, really opening yourselves to the experience of love. Three of Wands energy, I love it. Really, we saw the Three of Wands right here as your future, looking forward to the adventures, the future that you have together, the, the new ideas, the new adventures, the new surprises, the new actions that you will both take as a couple. Temperance, Sagittarius energy really speaks to compromise, making things work, uh, the guardian angel of love and relationship and, and succeeding at balancing in a beautiful way with this very spiritual energy. Currently, both of you are working on projects of your own. It looks as though you're very much your own people within this relationship, Pisces. We see the um, page of swords reversed. It looks as though you have not been doing much on social media. The king of cups reversed speaks to the fact that you need to talk. And that's what we saw as your advice. You're keeping everything hidden. There could be some resentments building up, Pisces. We'll clarify that momentarily. The future says that you're fair and balanced. It's Libra energy. I just feel like the relationship is out of balance. Scorpio energy, though, says that you, the two of you need to balance out the relationship or it will perish. All right, the death card says that you need a rebirth or there will be a death to the relationship. So that's Scorpio energy. The King of Cups reversed is Scorpio energy. But the King of Cups reversed is somebody who's feeling resentful of the sacrifices they've made. They feel unappreciated. So however that resonates, it's, it's what's going on right now. There seems to be a lack of communication sometimes. 
Cancerian energy. There we go again. So Cancer, Cancer, both of you want to nurture the relationship. So there need to be dramatic changes. We saw in the spread of cards just a few moments ago, the death and rebirth could be all about signing a new lease agreement with the Justice card. It could be deciding to get married, but I don't think so for most of you. But it looks as though there's going to be a lot of dramatic changes coming up, as both seen by this spread of cards and the previous. Okay. So Spirit, tell us what the Queen of Cups means here, means here in the recent past. Why is it here? The Tower card. The way you love each other sometimes makes you feel unstable. Sometimes it's like you get so emotional, so caught up in your feels that it, it has a destabilizing fact, you know, influence on both of you. The Nine of Swords energy says, oh, I love this. It's reversed. Nine of Swords reversed energy says that basically you can talk through almost anything. It really speaks to the fact that you do not let yourselves get out of control in terms of being up all in your head. Okay, and we have the Two of Wands making a decision about the future. So that is in the recent past, right? So that's good. We like that. The two of you are plotting and planning for the future as a mutual, mutually as a couple. Why do we have the Page of Coins here? New ways of making money, new ways of living, new new ideas about how you'll spend your money, how you'll save your money, how to gain stability financially. Somebody may be going back to school. That may be a point of discussion. We have temperance card, which is good. Okay. So both of you are in this energy that you are certainly not going to. You're just not on social media. I see both of you as being very... Um, sort of devoid of social media energy. We're getting the energy here of the King of Cups coming in sideways. So the energy is, is that, you know, whatever has happened between the two of you, we have a rebirth in the relationship. So it looks as though when, th when you get really hurt, when there are majorly hurt feelings, that both of you go kind of silent until you sort of have your feet back underneath you again. And that's Scorpio energy, so it really speaks to the resilience of the relationship. It speaks very highly to a relationship with a lot of nurturing energy, with the, the Cancerian Queen and the High Priestess. So why do we have the Justice card here? Why is the Justice card here? The Hanged Man. So right now, you're not going to do anything in terms of changing your residence. The Moon card says that you feel really uncomfortable about a change. That you don't feel as though you have enough information right now that you won't make a change, you won't rebirth the relationship at this time. What else do we need to know about the death card? Ah, the Four of Wands, beautiful. So it really, what I'm seeing here is that both of you want to build the future together. Both of you want very much to have the stability because we go from feeling unstable to stability but this is marriage so it looks as though there's some sort of question about marrying one another and the justice card is the literally like buying a home together that's what this means it's literally creating balance harmony the justice card is a marriage license also so there's a delay in a marriage license or some sort of legal decision the moon card is all about the home Pisces energy. What do we not know about where we're going to go? We know we want to go together. So that is a rebirth of the relationship. The two of you may be discussing marriage. It looks as though that may be a bit of a point of contention. It looks as though you've done really well in the relationship and many couples now decide not to take the formal step, but the commitment is there. So take it as it resonates. For some of you, it could be a breakup, but I'm not seeing it that way with the clarifier of the Four of Wands. The Moon card just says you don't know what the heck is going on. You feel uncomfortable. You feel unstable. You feel as though something about where you live or the way you're living cannot continue. Page of Swords Upright does say that somebody is online doing some research. What is that research that's being done online? Oh, okay. 
So in the future, what I'm seeing here is that the relationship has to stabilize. I get when I get the the King of Cups energy reversed, then sideways, it does look like there may be some a bit of dishonesty here. There may be someone in your environment. It could be a mother figure that's trying to dis destabilize the relationship. It looks like there's some gossip that's very difficult that you might find something like that. In a text message, it could be a text message, Three of Swords. I see the, th I, excuse me, Page of Swords. I always see the Page of Swords as texting, online, social media, but you may look at your person's phone, Pisces, and find something that you don't like. You may find a criticism. Let's see, let's dig into that more and we'll get a spiritual message. Because there are red flags here. There are red flags. So we get the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Somebody looks as though they may have said something in a text that was unkind. And it looks like it would have been your partner. The Two of Swords. You, you're not going to tell them that you saw it, Pisces. Let's see what we see. What more about the Death card do we need to know for our Pisces friends? All right, Five of Swords Reversed is a good card. It really speaks to the fact that you know you still want to be with this person, that you know Pisces, and this could be your energy here, Pisces, is feeling unloved or a sense of betrayal. So it does look like you still want this person in your life. You feel as though there are times when the two of you have spoken with family members about one another. Again, this is very, the, the high priestess is, you know, Cancerian motherly energy. Motherly energy. It looks like the two of you may have trouble with your mothers. There may be an indication that your mothers both think that you shouldn't be together. Oh my God. That's so weird. Okay, that obviously is not for everybody. But we do get the page of uh, the Knight of Swords. Spirit is recommending that you uh, absolutely talk this out. What is, okay, tell us, Spirit, about the Death card. Tell us what's going on with this. What about the Death card? It does look like it's a very loving relationship that's gone through a destabilizing time. It does look like it can survive. The choices will be whether it does or not. But with the Ace of Cups of Justice, the Four of Wands, and the um, High Priestess, I do believe you'll get through this. Self-reflection. Oh, Pisces, Spirit is telling you that you're part of the problem also. So that whatever is going on, um, that the relationship itself is divinely protected. There's a lot of love here. Both of you are getting, or at least you Pisces, that's for you, self-reflection, that you should really think about. You might be overreactive, and that there's a lot of wisdom here in this relationship, and that change is on the horizon. What else do we need to know about the change that's on the horizon? Have faith, Pisces, have faith. You know, every relationship goes through a rough time, and I think nothing like now, like the pandemic. Sending you love from Chicago, since I'm back, and tell me where you're from, Pisces. Thank you.